Next, we have the honor of welcoming His Excellency, Mr. Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado, President of Ghana, and a co-chair of the Secretary General's SDG Advocates. Mr. President. UN Deputy Secretary General, Excellency Amina Mohammed, the Prime Minister Erna Solberg of Norway, co-chair of the SDG Advocates, fellow SDG Advocates. In September 2019, world leaders of the SDG Summit in New York unanimously declared the years 2020 to 2030 as the decade of action and called on all member states to step up and scale up significantly actions to give our world a fighting chance of achieving the global goals by the end date of 2030. Sadly, a few months after this historic declaration, our world was hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, which has since had a devastating effect on lives and livelihoods and significantly undermined prospects of achieving the SDGs. Available estimates indicate that in 2020 alone, some 124 million people in the world were pushed back into extreme poverty, with some 132 million people experiencing hunger as a result of the pandemic. The net effect of these adverse developments is that our world is unlikely to eradicate extreme poverty and hunger by 2030. The quest to achieve the SDGs has indeed become more daunting, but this cannot and should not deflate our efforts. Rather, this is the time to think big, act big, and act smartly. As countries take action to address the effects of the pandemic, we cannot afford to perpetuate unsustainable development by disturbing the critical balance between economic, social, and environmental imperatives. Amid the ongoing detrimental effects of the pandemic, I hold the strong view that the SDGs remain even more relevant today than ever. Our recovery measures and interventions cannot and should not be delinked from actions to ensure prosperity, promote peace, protect people, and safeguard the planet. Undeniably, the SDGs provide a sound framework for responding to the pandemic and putting communities, businesses, and ecosystems on a sustainable pathway. Excellency, I want to emphasize two essential ingredients for the task of building forward better and scaling up actions to hasten progress towards the realization of the SDGs. First, there's a pressing need to bridge the 2.5 trillion United States dollars SDGs financing gap especially for developing countries, where the human development deficit is indeed greatest. With an estimated 400 trillion United States dollars available in global financial assets as of 2019, the resources to finance the SDGs are certainly available. The question raised is whether the rich countries of the world are thus prepared to accept the new paradigm of the SDGs and play their part or not. Secondly, the ability to access and deploy innovative solutions and new technologies will greatly speed up progress towards the goals. New forms of social practice and organization, as well as new and improved technological products and processes are key enablers for achieving the SDGs. Whilst embracing innovation, Deliberate steps should be taken to discourage innovations that contribute to environmental degradation, that are disruptive of livelihoods, and that exacerbate inequalities. As our world steeps to drive with the challenges posed by the pandemic, we have to turn the crisis into an opportunity 
that ramp up actions necessary to achieve the SDGs. We should accelerate and deepen our efforts during this decade of action to build a fairer, healthier, safer, and more prosperous world for all. I thank you for your attention. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we have the honor now of hearing.